back at the Wildlands Trust Halfway Pond Conservation Area. Today we're going to do one of the other loops. It's 1.5 miles. It's the Blue Trail, I believe. Let's let's check it out here. So we're doing this one. Gallows Pond Trail, I guess it's called. I'm not sure the name of this one. And I'm excited for this one because it's on Gallows Pond and I went to camp Wind in the Pines summer camp as a kid and I haven't seen the pond since then so I'm pretty excited for that. So you start off the same way and we cross the street up ahead a little bit here. Right here actually. You could have just walked out of the parking lot onto the road. But I followed the trail up. So they're basically telling us to go in this direction. I had, when looking at the map, wanted to go the other way, but we'll go the way they're telling us to. It is 8.09 a.m. Got out early because there's a heat advisory today. So <laughs> let's hope it doesn't get too hot. This trail is really windy uh, going uphill. And uh, that's a lot of fun. I like that. Okay, this is actually where the loop part starts, I think. And I'm going to go in this direction. So the summer camp is right over there. That's actually, I think, the day camp, which I didn't go to. I went to the overnight camp. I'm pretty sure that's the day camp. We're going to continue down. I'm going to continue down the trail. It's a nice downhill. I'm glad I chose this direction to start because it'll be a lot hotter by the time I would have gotten to this point. So I was talking about rocks in the last video, but I have to say this one is very appropriate for today. Stay cool and kind. No idea what type of mushroom that is, but it's pretty cool looking. Looks like the perfect spot to stop and have some water. The sun shining on all these cobwebs is so pretty. You can walk down to the water. There's a ginormous rock right here. It's so cool, it's got like a perfect step to step up. How perfect is this? This thing's huge. Wow. That's so awesome. Look how beautiful the water is. It's got kind of a bluish tint. So that right over there is I believe where I went swimming at summer camp and I think that's the day camp's swimming area. It's cool, someone stuck a little white rock down here. I wanted to just come swimming here, it's not really that far of a walk from in the parking lot. It took me maybe 15 minutes to walk to here. It looks like there's little, another little spot to get down to the water. Several of them. It's the cleanest pond. So this is a little confusing. There was a path along the water and then the higher path. Then you come out here on a road. We're supposed to be going in this direction. I guess we walk on the road. So you walk along that dirt road and I guess you go up this way. <laughs> we'll find out. I swear it was blue diamonds, but there's a green diamond. Green and blue. There is another trail. It's a green trail. Hmm. I'm not sure. We'll just go this way. <laughs> I 
yeah, this is what I thought. So we are here. We're going back this way now. It's gotten really quiet. I can hear traffic off far in the distance, but the birds were singing earlier. They're quiet now. So it feels like it's just the winds and the pines and me. So you want to go this way. There's a little sign right here. Let's see what it says. Eastern Hemlock. Look at the size of these ferns. They're like up to my, my chest. It's crazy. There's a whole bunch of hemlocks. It's so, so pretty. So cool. I forget what you call those. I'll have to look it up. So I just passed where the loop started. I'm on the way back to the parking lot. I really, really like this one. I like this one even more than Gramps Loop. This is a A-plus trail. I enjoyed this one a lot. Definitely be back.